What up, everybody? It's iPadBeatMaking.com here today on Friday, May 7th, 2021, giving you some news you can use. Now, if you enjoy this video, please be sure to hit the like button as well as the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the latest news, tips, tricks, sales, beats, reviews, updates, and more. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, then you know that the newest iPad Pro was unveiled last month in April and pre-orders recently became available and soon enough those iPads will be landed in the hands of those that grabbed them. Now, the iPads feature up to 16 gigabytes of RAM and up to two terabytes of storage, as well as a Thunderbolt port and unexpectedly already there's a few retailers that already have $50 off deals on these and those even include Walmart for the 128 gigabyte Wi-Fi model for $749 as well as the 256 Wi-Fi model for $849 and this is on the 11 inch variants of those. Now we want to know have you pre-ordered one if so which model did you pre-order and why let us know down in the comments section down below. Now Cubasis has had a phenomenal update with version 3.3 that now features MIDI learning, side chaining, and so much more. We did a video summarizing it here, but hopefully we'll get more videos done soon working with it, but we want to say Cubasis is really finally feeling pro. A couple of things we like Cubasis to add is MIDI learn to those note repeat functions and Give us trackpad and scroll wheel support for the menus and the timeline. This would make the workflow so much easier and be perfect for those magic keyboard cases, etc. But this update was major and it's much better than we thought it would be. I mean, we knew an update was on the horizon, but we didn't expect for it to be this good. Now, have you updated to the latest version of Cubasis? Have you just grabbed it? If so, what are your thoughts on it? Let us know in the comment section down below. And Audio Modeling has released Swarm Strings finally for the iPad, and you can check out our quick video covering it here. But this is another incredible milestone for the iPad and it brings it closer to desktop with the top notch quality of the instruments that we are getting access to. And the good news is that the entire bundle is currently on sale for $64.99 and these apps will also soon be available for iPhone according to audio modeling. Now, what isn't clear is if this app will be universal, meaning that the iPhone version will be free if you purchase this iPad version or if the iPhone version will be a separate app and purchase entirely. But we wanna know, will you be grabbing these apps? Let us know in the comment section down below. And now let's move on to updates. First of all, AudioKit has been very busy. House Mark 1, their limited edition app number one, base 808 synth, limited edition app number two, AudioKit Retro Piano, as well as limited edition app number four, the AR909 Drum Machine, each have updates that allows multiple AEV3 mixdowns inside of Cubasis, as well as better performance in Cubasis projects. So that's great news. Hopefully you've got those apps. If you do not, be sure to grab them. They're great apps. Next up, we've got LRC7, which fixed an issue with font sizes in the documentation app on some devices. Added a configuration panel in the documentation app that allows for configuring the AU. The configuration panel can be used to adjust some of the multi-touch gestures and to set which EQ band types are set as the defaults. The double tap to turn off an EQ band now saves the current EQ band state and will restore the saved state on a subsequent double tap. The double tap gesture can be completely disabled in the configuration panel. The sample rate warning panel for low sample rate tracks can be turned off in the configuration panel as well. Adam Piano Roll 2, there was an update that we missed and we'll probably cover that in another video. But this is a new update and it features full MPE and automation support for MIDI import, export, in addition to recording. Working directly with MIDI files will now include pitch bin, modulation, sustain, and all other CC or after touch events. Full MPE compatibility for Linstrument and continue MIDI hardware. 
greatly improve performance on all devices when recording MPE that generates a lot of data. Now, Adam Piano Roll 2, if you have not, make sure you grab that app. The developer is always hard at work. I think they're getting out an average of about an update a week or an update every week and a half to two weeks. Nonetheless, be sure to grab that app. It's very worthwhile. Now, Cubase is three as we said before, has been updated to Cubasis 3.3. And it says Cubasis is unmatched when it comes to helping you create your music quickly and easily. Enjoy all of the great new professional features we've added, still with all the quick operation, ease of use, and unparalleled usability that you rely on. Hook up your external controller to remotely control Cubasis via MIDI Learn, the Mackie Control MCU, or the Huey protocols. Use audio unit multi-out support to individually process instrument sounds or route instruments to discrete channels. Use side chaining to create the pumping effect familiar in modern music and so much more. Cubasis 3.3 lets you go pro with ease while being creative and staying fully inspired. So be sure to check out that update. Koala Sampler has fixed the problem with Ableton set support. In Track Studio DAW has been updated with a new NEFX denoiser effect, new NEFX gain effect, redesign on the synth and in track sampler UIs, redesign effects management console, step sequencer, edit per step position and length by dragging on the step. Step sequencer now features humanization, stereo recording using built-in mic on supported devices, as well as various bug fixes and enhancements. DRC polyphonic synthesizer has fixed an in-app purchase persistency bug. Rosetta Sequencer Suite has improved retrigger note off behavior in Scalar. Hypertron has a simplified arpeggiator, sample glide parameter, trim exported tracks, iPhone SE 2020 support, as well as copy and paste pattern. And Roland Zen Beats has been updated to version 2.2.0. And it says, get the Zen Beats Ultimate Unlock with the new Roland Cloud membership options now available in app. This update features bug fixes and enhancements. Bruce Free has an AEV3 state save slash record bug fixed. Fixed an issue where a couple of user interface components wouldn't always react on automation changes. Export replaced save and open in buttons as well as minor graphical tweaks. Piano Motif has fixes for crash and not being able to move a section around in some cases where sections fill up all of the rows of the arrangement view. And Groove Rider GR16 has an update that introduces Novation Launchpad Pro Mark III support and the standalone app only. Connect your Launchpad Pro and get full control over your live performance with Groove Rider GR16. You can access up to four different pad modes simultaneously. It can display, for example, mute, trigger, jump, and keys modes simultaneously on one LP Pro surface. Also, you control the MFX touchpad, arpeggiator, adjust part volume, pan, send a mount, mute, solo, browse your pattern, banks, and much more. So be sure to check out that app if you are a Groove Rider GR16 user. And ID700 has been updated with adding rotate to duplicate note modes, fix MIDI handling in MIDI mode to only respond to the configure MIDI channel, fix MIDI sources text editor to be read only, expand pitch bend range to plus minus 48 semitones, as well as updated the presets. So lots of great updates, be sure to check them out. And now let's move on to the couple of sales that we do have. First of all, we've got Cubasis 2, which was $23.99, it's now $15.99. And if you were really, really smart, you would go for Cubasis 3, which was $49.99, and it's currently $33.99. It's got an incredible update. It can do so much more now, very, very powerful, worthwhile. I'd have to argue it might be the best DAW, depending on your workflow, for iOS. Yes, it's on iPhone and it's on iPad, so seriously consider grabbing it. And Syntronic by IK Multimedia was $14.99 and it's currently $7.99. And I believe some of the in-app purchases, maybe the deluxe bundle is also on sale, so be sure to check that out if that interests you. And finally, we're going to move on to the giveaway. I know some of you from this video here had commented on it and that entered you into the giveaway. So we are going to announce the giveaway winner on the screen right now. 
So congratulations, be sure to hit up iPadBeatMaking at gmail.com and claim your copy of Cubasis 3. And shout out to Paco Bravo for supporting this free Cubasis initiative. Be sure to check out his channel. And with that said, we're about to get out of here. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please be sure to hit the like button as well as the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the latest news, tips, tricks, sales, beats, reviews, updates, and more. And be sure to check out some of the best kits available for iOS at iPadBeatMaking.com. It's iPadBeatMaking.com. Peace.